Parents and school leaders in Lewport are sounding the alarm tonight on student safety. Yeah, the district is now pushing the Department of Transportation to install a traffic light outside the school. News 4's Sarah Minkowitz has more on this. Sarah? Don and Jackie, the Lewport Central District is worried that it's only a matter of time before either a student, staff member, or someone else in the community is injured in a crash outside the high school. Leaders say the traffic is getting worse and something has to be done about it. How many close calls do we need to have before this matter is taken seriously by the DOT and addressed? Brian Michelle has three children in the Lewiston Porter Central School District. Every time he drops his kids off at the high school, he deals with student drivers, parents rushing to work, and school buses. He says it's a recipe for disaster. Taking your children to school here and dropping them off in the morning is, mo is the most dangerous part of my day. You have the perfect storm of agendas and traffic and congestion happening, happening out there. Leaders in the school district agree. Principal Bradley Roll says they monitor traffic on Creek Road, which is a state highway, during the start and end of the school day. It is a constant concern uh, as a building level administrator. My number one job and priority is the safety and well being of the staff, students, and families that are visiting this campus every day. As we have come back from COVID, we have noticed increasing numbers of uh, near misses here at the entrance. School and state leaders and parents want the State Department of Transportation to install a permanent traffic light at the entrance of the school. The speed limit during school hours is 10 miles per hour and there are flashing red lights to warn drivers to slow down, but they say that's not enough. We are here this morning to bring an awareness to our community and to the New York State Department of Transportation for our traffic study and for an opportunity to provide greater safety for our students and staff. We are trying to abate a dangerous situation and avoid a worst case scenario with, God forbid, one of our students being put in harm's way. Now the Department of Transportation agreed, has agreed to come to the school and conduct a traffic study. School leaders hope a traffic light can be installed sometime this summer before the start of the school year. In the studio, Sarah Meekowitz, News 4.